Uh, okay, let's download the um, latest release, or the newest release of the software, and run you through what it does. So, uh, open up the browser of your choice and uh, go to this web address. I shall include it in the description, um, so you shouldn't need to read it from the screen. But it's code.google.com forward slash p forward slash voice dash activated dash checklists. This should bring you to this screen. Um, if you're feeling that way inclined, you can go and have a look at the uh, source. By all means, check it out, build it, laugh, hate, uh, whatever you want to do make comments um, but here we want to download the uh, the current release so if we click on this link to download the uh, the zip file, it's a zip file in this particular case not an installer um, I'm only using Visual Studio Express, it doesn't come with a built-in installer and I just wanted to get this out there as quick as possible rather than learn another scripting language to create an installer so let's save this um, on the desktop and that's done so let's extract the contents of this zip file and let's extract it to in fact let's extract it to the desktop uh, let's just say voice checklists and we'll extract everything into there so first things first uh, I'm going to unblock this so it doesn't warm me every time uh, let's run you through what we've got here so this is the main application binary executable um, use this to start the app um, this is the uh, the checklist for the A to A C one seven two. Um, it's a close interpretation of the one in the documentation. I've tweaked it slightly to flow better. I still think there are some items missing, um, particularly with um, uh, lights being turned on and off. Um, in certain situations, there's no taxi in checklist. I think it's all mixed in with something else. So I think at some point it'd be nice to break those out into separate checklists and uh, and get them to flow a bit better. Um, but essentially, what this is is an XML file. There are a number of checklists in here. We've got the cabin checklist here. We've got the before starting engine checklist and the starting engine checklist and so on and so forth for the rest. Uh, inside each uh, checklist node we've got a number of checklist items um, so we have here pitot tube cover removed is what will be read out or sounded out when this item is active and these are the acceptable checklist commands to progress the checklist um, now the app will, uh, when it gets to a checklist item, it will first go away and see if it can find a WAV file with this name in the configured folder. If it can find a WAV file, it will play it. If it can't find the WAV file, then you'll get the default Windows um, voice reading thing and all of her quirks uh, and she gets horribly confused on some of the uh, text in this checklist um, so that's essentially how it breaks down um, let's go and have a look how, how this is configured in the app and let's go and run the app so run the app nice shiny splash screen um, the app will minimize to the system tray down here 
Uh, it can disappear off into the hidden items. Uh, I think that does it on Windows XP, Windows 7 and 8.1. Uh, so it should be valid for most people. To have a look at the options, we can either double click on the icon or right click and choose options. And what we get in here uh, is a number of options. So uh, it defaults the uh, checklist file name in this particular case to the right location. Uh, but we can we can validate it by just clicking on the ellipses, checking the location up here, choosing the file, saying open, and also the audio path. Um, the audio path in this particular case is a collection of all the WAV files that I've recorded that replace Anna, the robotic mistress. Um, so you can see for that first item in the check in the cabin checklist is Pito tube cover removed. There's the WAV file that it will find. Pito tube cover removed, and the app will uh, play that file bit more friendly than Anna if I'm that friendly. Um, so we just make sure that this is set up properly otherwise we're going to get Anna barking at us. So we're going to go to um, desktop voice checklists checklist audio files and choose OK. Uh, the app needs to restart when you save the settings, it'll warn you of that. So let's restart that now. So now we have uh, the checklists and the audio files set up correctly. Uh, in the other section here, we have uh, something called the confidence threshold. We'll come on to that in a minute, but note that it's set to 97 here. Um, this here, the mislabeled control, is um, the language culture that the speech recognition engine uses. Uh, for those astute among you, will notice that I have a British accent and therefore mine set to ENGB. Uh, feel free to choose it to the culture of your choice. They're all very cryptically uh, assigned in here. I guess you'll recognise your own if you don't if you. Uh, if you see it. Uh, once again if you hit apply the app needs to restart to s take these settings. So remembering the confidence threshold let's go on to the debug. This is the first thing I recommend that you do. Um, on the left will be presented a list of the accepted commands. Um, this is a mixture of hard-coded commands in the code um, but mostly it's stuff that's been parsed from the checklist file. So all those um, V commands in the checklist files, it, it reads all those in and compiles a list of the stuff that it can use. So you can, you can choose to change those to whatever you see fit. Um, but let's choose listen from the uh, pop-up menu and it'll populate the list. And we can now see that the audio levels are changing in the app as well. Um, so we noticed here that it's actually picking up what I'm saying but it's getting it horribly wrong um, but we can see here so we've got um, what it thinks I said and how confident it is that that is what I said so this is where you need to kind of test the app to see how well it picks you up uh, do feel free to use the other video that I've posted on uh, checking your mic level. Um, but once you've done that, we can go and just read out a number of items in here nice and clearly and see what the confidence level is being picked up at. So let's, let's try a few. Checked. Clear. Close checklist. Complete. Extended. So we can see here about 98%. Uh, 
Um, so the uh, default option of 97 in my particular case will be fine. I could up it to 98 but occasionally when I'm in the heat of battle it can drop down to 97%. Yours is lower than that, feel free to lower yours. Uh, note that the lower you put it then the more guff it's going to pick up. Um, yeah, you can see it's dropping right down to 34% here so you run the risk of of misfires if it's too low. Right, so once we've got that done we can um, run through some of the basic commands. So you'll notice in the top right hand corner here, although I haven't got flight sim running, it's just an overlay, um, this tells you the current checklist item that's active. In this particular case there's nothing active. Um, we can open and close this so we can get rid of it if you want to by just saying close checklist power set as required not to send checklist close checklist close checklist she's been a bit fickle today it might be something to do with the screen recording um, and we can bring it back again by choosing open checklist or having something else said if you can't recall what the checklist items are called we can uh, issue a command show checklists and this brings up this checklist it will disappear after a few seconds um, but it's enough normally to remind yourself of what the checklist item is called that you want to go on to um, so we can start with the um, uh, cabin checklist cabin checklist pito tube cover removed removed Pilot's operating handbook in aeroplane. Present. Aeroplane weight and balance checked. Checked. Parking brake set on. Set. Control wheel lock removed. Removed. Ignition switch set off. So we can see it's progressing the items nicely. Um, we're just going to go run through this checklist and see what happens at the end. Off. Avionics master switch set off. Off. Master switch set on. On. Fuel quantity indicators checked. Checked. Fuel quantity annunciators extinguished. Clear. Avionics master switch set on. On. Avionics cooling fan audible. Audible. Avionics master switch set off. Off. Static pressure alternate source valve set off. Checked. Annunciator panel switch test performed. Checked. Fuel selector valve set to both. Set. Fuel shutoff valve pushed in. Set. Flaps fully extended. Extended. Pito heat set on. On. Pito heat working. Checked. Pito heat set off. Off. Master switch set off. Off. Elevator trim set to take off. Set. Checklist complete. Thank you. You're most welcome. So you can see here that um, the active checklist has now progressed onto the next item that it would come to. So that's also a prompt for you. Um, to know what the uh, next item is. Um, if you do want to dismiss that dialogue by choosing close checklist, close checklist, then when you bring it back up again, open checklist, it will be no checklist active. So if you've forgotten, just choose show checklists. Ah, before starting engine checklist pre-flight inspection complete then it will start the next checklist and it will progress that once you get to the end um, if you do start the wrong checklist accidentally you can just choose abort checklist and it will abort the current checklist uh, I think that's all the commands covered uh, I hope it works for you it does require .NET 4.5 framework to be installed um, I might be able to drop that lower but for the moment that's what's been developed against um, it should be available from the Microsoft website if you haven't already got it installed I think if you've got Windows 7 or Windows 8 installed I think you'll have it by default I think it's only the diehards on Windows XP um, let me know your comments um, and enjoy <laughs>